You may want to pay attention here because your life could depend on it. You're more than likely going to live, but you should still be made aware of some of the scary problems that can be found in your eyeballs. We're here to explore some of the more severe things that can be seen by taking a look at your eye health. So enough talk, let's get on with this. This is what your eyes say about your health. Number 15. Cloudy Eyes Well, we're pretty sure that most know what it means when somebody has a super cloudy or opaque eye or two, but there must be some that don't, so let us inform you. Cataracts Cataracts are what cloudy eyes mean, and they're actually quite common in older people, although younger people can get them, and that usually signifies other underlying issues. Tumors and diabetes could be to blame for cataracts if you're young, so go and get it checked out. Also, if you started any medications and noticed that your eyes are becoming cataracted, know that that could be a side effect of said medication. Number 14. Bug Eyes well, now you might not think that the whole bug-eyed look can signal something about your health. In fact, bug eyes can help doctors and even the untrained eye, yes, spot a problem with someone's health. The condition itself is called exothalmos, and it can be a sign and symptom of Graves' disease. Now, Graves' disease is an overactive thyroid, and if untreated, it can become dangerous. People with it can experience other symptoms such as general nervousness, an irregular or rapid pulse, fatigue, tremors in the hands, heat sensitivity, and increased sweating, and extreme weight loss. Crazy that your eyes can signify something like that, but as you'll soon see, they can be a guiding light to the unearthing of many problems. Number 13. Metastatic Cancer Wow, so certain cancers have a tendency to show up in the eyes, as we've already sort of learned. But there are two types of cancer that commonly spread to the eyes, and neither of them are fun to have. Lung cancer in men tends to spread to the eyes, so doctors may be able to figure out that something is wrong just by looking at them. And breast cancer in women can begin to show telltale signs as well, so apparently getting to the eye doctor for checkups really is essential. Number 12. Gray Rings First of all, if you see a gray ring in your eye, you should probably be concerned and go see somebody about it right away. And that's not just because of what it could mean, but because it would just be really freaky to see a gray ring inside your eye. Arcus senilis is what a gray ring that encircles your cornea is called, and it can mean a few things. It typically is tied to high cholesterol and triglycerides, and it can often lead to an increased risk of strokes and heart attacks. If you've got it, go get your blood tested for elevated lipids. Those under 60 are especially urged to get tested to see what's going on, so why would you wait? Number 11. Skin Cancer If you don't know what basal cell carcinomas are, you should probably look them up. But if you don't know what they are, then you more than likely don't have any, so that's a good thing. Basically, they're a form of skin cancer of the less fatal variety, and they can appear pretty much anywhere, but sometimes they show up around the eyes, on the eyelid, which can cause lots of pain and a loss of your eyelashes. Though this form of skin cancer isn't typically fatal, it can cause severe disfigurement considering they're usually cut off and can even cause blindness if the eye is reached and if they go even farther and enter your brain through your eye socket, you might as well draw up your will. Number 10, Chalazian. All right, now this one looks like it would be scary, right? Well, it is, because why would your eye swell up like that? OMG, you must have cancer. Not really. This actually happens due to a blocked oil gland and is known to be pretty painless, albeit hard. It must also make blinking really difficult considering half your eyes won't shut, but it's not really dangerous like some of the eye problems on this list and typically goes away on its own within a few days. If you've got super oily skin, you may experience this in your lifetime. Even those without oily skin may have to deal with this at some point or another, but it's much more common in the excessively oily. Number 9. Myasthenia Gravis Okay, now this one is a bit scary, and if someone has terrible eye deviation and really droopy eyelids, this may not be a sign of being tired or being high on life, of course, but it could be a symptom of something much darker. Myasthenia Gravis can sometimes be spotted when somebody has droopy eyelids on both sides. It's an incurable autoimmune disease that leads to skeletal muscle weakness of varying degrees and most commonly affects the muscles of the face and eyes and sometimes swallowing. It can lead to more severe things Things, such as trouble talking, trouble walking, double vision, and sometimes even meeting one's maker sooner than planned. It's extra scary because the onset can be swift and sudden, so watch your eyes. Number 8. AIDS we thought the last one was scary, but did you know that sometimes ophthalmologists can spot HIV AIDS just by looking at one's retina? We didn't either. Apparently, AIDS can sometimes cause a severe and dramatic, sometimes blinding, inflammation of the retina. There are tiny blood vessels in the eye that can become blocked and even bleed due to this horrifying disease and could become infected. This infection is called cytomegalovirus retinitis. Well, the more you know. Apparently, the more scared you are. Number 7. High Cholesterol 
Apparently, this is one of the easiest things for optometrists or ophthalmologists to find and diagnose, and it is actually seen on the daily. This is because the symptoms present themselves right on the very front of your eye, on your cornea, where contact lenses would sit if you wore them. Heart conditions can cause plaque to build up on the cornea, which sounds somewhat uncomfortable, and this is a cause for concern. Plaque buildup from the carotid artery can sometimes break off and float its way into the eye and clog the arteries inside, which leads to changes in the vascular structures. Sounds scary. Number 6. Horner's Syndrome Well, when you first look at these photos, it's almost hard to tell exactly what's going on, but two seconds later you can spot some strange abnormalities. Take the eye shape. One or both of the eyes looks a bit droopy, right? Now take a look at the pupils. Did you notice that they're different sizes? Well, when these two things are paired together, it's often a good indicator that somebody may be suffering from Horner's Syndrome, which is not something you want to have. Typically, the syndrome shows up when the sympathetic trunk, a group of nerves, is damaged. Many things can cause Horner's, though, and some of those include various tumors, infections, and things like multiple sclerosis. If you've got the symptoms, it's recommended that you go and get checked immediately. Number 5. Brain Health Eye doctors are good at what they do, and their specialty was formed over a lot of time and research. Some of that research indicates that the condition of the blood vessels in your eyes probably indicates how the blood vessels in your brain are doing, and how your overall brain health is. The thinking is that if the retinal blood vessels found in your eyes are looking rather unhealthy, the brain's blood vessels are probably also looking unhealthy as well. If the blood vessels in your eyes are unable to carry blood properly, your brain is probably experiencing the same problem, and is more than likely not functioning entirely up to par. You're not dumb. Your blood vessels just aren't working right. Number 4. High Blood Pressure Here's something else that ophthalmologists can sometimes tell just by looking at your retina. Whether or not you have high blood pressure. If you do, the pressure can cause the itty bitty blood vessels inside to twist up and sometimes kink and let us tell you. You'll be glad if your eye doctor lets you know you've got this because once you know, you can try and do something about it. If there are kinks and twists or dents in the retinal veins, known as AV nicking, you may be at an extremely high risk for a terrible stroke. So although it may suck to have your eye doctor tell you you've got the symptoms in your eyes, better thank him or her for potentially saving your life. Number 3. Blue Eyes no, not like the color of your iris, but the color of your eye as a whole. If your eye is blue tinted, it can mean a number of things. First, the eyes may become bluish due to the top layer of the eye, known as the sclera, thinning, which can indicate things like cancer or heart disease. An autoimmune disorder called Addison's disease is known for affecting the adrenal glands and can make your eyes look bluish. Marfan's and osteogenesis imperfecta can tint the eyes a slight blue as can things like medications in the steroid family and eye drops that are meant for allergies. All sorts of things can make your eyes look blue, and if you haven't been taking any medications lately, you should go find out why. Number 2. Marfan Syndrome It's so crazy that your eyes can tell so many stories, be it bad or good. Most on this list are bad, but hey, that's what this thing is kind of all about. Yet another syndrome that can be spotted when looking at someone's eyes is Marfan's Syndrome. Marfan's is a genetic disorder that primarily affects and messes with the body's connective tissue. There are typically ways to diagnose the syndrome long before the eyes even need to be taken into account, like sufferers can be really tall and skinny and have super long slender fingers. If all of those symptoms are missed or aren't present, doctors may be able to spot some very specific changes in tissues that hold the eye's lens in place. Marfan's is dangerous and can cause severe thinning of the wall of the aorta, which unsurprisingly, can prove fatal. So if your eyes are acting fishy, go see someone about it. Number 1. Diabetes Well, considering all of these other things can be seen in the eyes, it's really no surprise that diabetes can be too. Frequently, diabetes causes some pretty specific things to happen to the retinas of those who have it. Little hemorrhages can appear within the retina and lipids, basically fats in your blood, can begin to gather and deposit there as well. What an eye doctor may diagnose someone with symptoms like these with is diabetic retinopathy, which basically just means go to your real doctor and probably get your blood tested for you may have diabetes and not even know it. Take it all seriously because if diabetic retinopathy gets severe enough, it can cause very poor vision or blindness and is actually the leading cause of both. Well, that was a scary little trip down eye health lane. How many of you have checked your own eyes throughout this video to make sure that everything was a-okay? We know that we did. 
Hopefully, none of you found anything to be worried about. If this video helped to inform you, hit that like button, post your thoughts in the comments down below, subscribe to our channel, and watch for all the great content we put out every day. Thanks for watching.